Yeah, it's already going. How are you? Who are you? Uh, who are you is the question, sir. Do you have your identification with you? Huh? Do you have your identification with you? Am I being detained? Yes, you are being detained. What's 56, your PC? 56.27 is San Diego Municipal Code. Break out your ID for me. I don't have it on me. Okay, well, we're going to go a different route. What's your name? What's your PC? I already explained it to you. I'm not going to play games with you. You're not going to sit there and curse at the police, oh. sit out here and film us and talk on your radios until us I know who you are. I can talk it's on my radio all I want. for you to sit there and curse and act out like you are. What law is that you can't cuss out a cop? What law is it? 56.27, San Diego Municipal Code. You can't threaten a cop, but you can cuss out a cop. Okay, if that's what you believe, do you have your name? First, you got to give me a right probable cause and your did. sergeant. I already did. Sergeant. Okay, we're going to go one of two ways. I will handcuff you and detain you until I find out who you are. Do you understand what I I'm saying right now? I want to talk to your sergeant. That's fine. Uh, I'm a sergeant here. You're not going to sit there and curse at me and be rude out here in public when small children are going by and you know what There were no kids going by. Going back to the matter at hand, People versus Edward Foreman. Mr. Foreman, is that your signature on the document? Yes, Your Honor. Did you read and understand your rights before you signed it, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any questions regarding those rights before we start, sir? Understood. If a question arises in the future, let me know and I'll answer it any time during the trial. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. I'm going to explain the process, so I'll take the form back and put it in your file. Right. I'm going to explain the process before we begin. As you heard me mention before, it's a criminal proceeding. It's not a misdemeanor or felony. Yeah. But it means you have a lot of rights that apply. No right to a jury trial, no right to a free appointed defense attorney, but the other rights apply. And that means that the government goes first because they have the burden of proving the case beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah. There's no prosecutor present because there's case law that exists that says in California on an infraction case like this one, it's up to the prosecutor whether or not they want to appear. They've chosen not to appear here today. I'm not commenting on their decision. I'm just letting you know the officer under that case is allowed to proceed as a witness and present the case as a witness on behalf of the government. When the officer is done presenting evidence, you have the right to cross-examine the officer if you wish. Okay. Cross-examination means that you can question the officer um, about the case at that point in time, again, if you wish. Following that, you will have an opportunity to present evidence. Evidence is a broad term. It could include your statement or testimony about what happened, diagrams, maps, photos, witnesses, whatever you have that's relevant and admissible under the California rules of evidence can be presented at that time. You have the right to remain silent. If you choose to remain silent, that won't be held against you by this court in arriving at a decision. The government still has to prove every element of the allegation beyond a reasonable doubt. Finally, if you present any evidence whatsoever, the officer will have the opportunity to go last in evidentiary rebuttal if he wishes. And that's what always happens in criminal cases because of the type of burden on the government. They get to go last if they want to in rebuttal. Do you understand all that? Yes, Your Honor. And, sir, I have a note here from the clerk indicating that you have a support person here with you. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And what reason do you just want the support person close to you for moral support or some other reason? They were there that day also. And well, it's for and it's for because I have PTSD also. All right. Which is another issue. Um, what if I have the person sit on the bench directly behind you? We don't have tables here. Will that be supportive enough for you? Okay. All right. So have a seat, please, ma'am. Thank you. And what we'll do is I'm going to get to um, a question in a moment about witnesses, and we'll swear them in with you if you have any witnesses on the case. Understood, sir? Yes. Your Honor. All right. So I went through the process. You said you understood it. You had no questions. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. Let's talk about the allegation in this case. Under count one, the allegation is San Diego Municipal Code 56.27. I'm going to read it aloud to make sure you understand it before we start the trial. 56.27 reads as follows. Disorderly or offensive conduct in public places, dash, prohibited. That is, shall be, and is hereby declared to be unlawful for any person to be guilty of any offensive or disorderly conduct in or upon any of the streets, alleys, sidewalks, squares, parks, 
or in any store or other public place in said city and it shall be unlawful for any person to make any loud noise or disturbance or use any loud noisy boisterous vulgar or indecent language on any of the streets alleys sidewalks square park or in any store or other public place in said city and again this is part of the san diego municipal code so yeah. said city is referring to san diego do you understand the charge against you yes your honor are you ready for the trial to begin if we, when we begin the trial, remember they'll go first, and then yeah. you'll get your chance to question the other side and present your case, including witnesses that you may have. And you understand all that? Yeah, because I needed to try to uh, get a continuance because my lawyer wasn't able to be present with me today. All right, let's take a look at the case. It looks like you were here for arraignment on September 12th of 2017. And at that time, according to the minute order, which is the official record, it indicates you represented yourself self-represented which you have a right to do and that you entered a plea of not guilty and that you waived time for trial so it was set out from september 12th to february 2nd 2018 at 1 p.m in department a this department so that's today's date and time i find the request is untimely on the day of trial i don't have anything indicating um, an attorney previously appeared on the case or anything from an attorney on the case, I also find it is untimely and therefore the request for continuance is denied. Do you have any other requests before we start the trial? No. Understood. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, did we swear in the witnesses? Um, the All right. We swore in you and the police officer in this case. Um, when we get to your turn, if you have witnesses, we'll swear the one or more witnesses in at that time. Understood, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes, All right. Your Honor. Yes, and thank you for responding out loud. Yeah. Sometimes in our society, we're used to saying a ha, and the, the um, audio recording doesn't pick that up very yeah. well, so I appreciate that. All right, we're going to go ahead and start then at this time. Um, officer, good afternoon again. When you're ready, please begin. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Thank you. My name is Officer Scott Picard. I'm a police officer with the city of San Diego, and I've been so for the past 15 years. I work mid-city division, and I've been there for the past six and a half years. On June 1st, 2017, at about 1425 hours, I was in full uniform and preparing my marked patrol car for the shift. I was standing in the north lot of our mid-city substation, uh, standing by the trunk of my vehicle. I saw a male, later identified as Edward Anthony Foreman, who I see here standing next to me at the podium wearing the black shirt. The record will reflect that the witness has identified the defendant in court. Please continue. He was standing on the east sidewalk at about 3743rd Street, uh, staring into the uh, police station observing the police officers I was observing him he's watching us he appeared to have cameras and different radios and stuff on him talking and stuff in this day and age of officers being accosted assaulted ambushed I waved him so he was aware that I saw him outside of our fence line observing the officers when I waved to him uh, mr. foreman chose to say what are you waving at bitch fuck you police used a bunch of other derogatory comments toward myself He's standing there by himself. At this time of day, there's generally a school that's getting out and there was numerous pedestrians walking by. There were small juveniles in the area. I told him, you know, to knock it off. He didn't need to speak to the police that way. He continued on with, fuck you, police. I can say and do what I want, First Amendment. He stood there yelling and continued. I again explained to him, if he doesn't understand what I'm saying, I can come out there and explain the laws to him about what laws he is violating. He continued on uh, making a uh, cursing and using derogatory comments towards me. So I got in my patrol car and I drove around to his location to explain uh, sending the municipal code 5627 to his person. I contacted him, he was by himself. A few moments later, his, uh, I believe it was his wife showed up and started making derogatory comments to me also. I subsequently identified um, Mr. Foreman via his California identification card, which I had to pull up in our computer in CalPhoto since he did not have it on his person. I was able to positively identify him and subsequently I issued him a citation for 56.27, a San Diego Municipal Code disorder offensive conduct in public place, thus being the sidewalk. He was subsequently released with his written promise to appear in court, sir. Can you identify this as occurring near the mid city substation? Is that in the city of San Diego? Yes, sir. Do you have anything else? 
No sé. All right, so sir, the officer is rested at this time. This is your right to question the officer. Please one question at a time. Please in the form of a question. Do you have any questions for the officer? If so, this would be the time to ask them. Mm. No, I don't have any questions, Your Honor. I understand you're waiving your right to question the officer. That means that we'll move on to the next phase of the trial, which is your right to present evidence. You indicated earlier when I was explaining the process that you had a witness or more. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. How many witnesses do you have, sir? I have my wife who was there Understood. That, that day. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask your wife to please stand up and raise your right hand to be sworn in by the clerk of the court. Thank you. I solemnly state that the testimony given this morning is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth spoken so Yes. Please have a seat, ma'am. So, sir, at this point in time, it's your case in how you want to present it. If you want just your wife to testify, that's one way you could present it. If you're choosing to testify, you could start with your testimony or have her testimony go first. That's just a statement about what happened. Remember I mentioned there's all types of evidence, yeah. ranging from diagrams to photos. Do you have anything else besides your wife's testimony that you're going to present? I have, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I have a video and then I have case laws also and the penal codes that protect what I did. Understood. All right. Well, let's start with um, the video you indicated that you have. How long is it? It's about three minutes and 22 seconds, Your Honor. We're going to refer to the video that's three minutes and 22 seconds long as Defense Exhibit A. Do you have anything else besides the video and the case law? The case law isn't by itself evidence, but I understand it's authority that you want to cite yeah. to, which you can do when you make your argument at any point, all right? And at that point in time, it appears you have a copy for the court. You can provide it at that time. Did you want to start by playing the video, or do you want to start with your wife's testimony or your testimony or something else? Uh, I'll start yeah, I'll start with the video. All right, we'll start with playing the video then. Uh, just got to play, press play. Is it one video in its entirety, or does it include um, other things in it? Is it like it's a 10 minutes? just one video. Okay, so I have it up here on a cell phone device, and the officer has the right to see it too because he has the opportunity to present rebuttal, so no right yeah. to object because he's the prosecutor's chosen not to be here today, yeah. but he has the right as a witness to give that evidentiary rebuttal that I mentioned. Officer, did you want to see the video? Is, is it the same one that's played on YouTube a hundred times? Yeah. Oh, no, I've seen it enough, sir. All right, so you've seen the video. Understood. I'm going to go ahead and play it at this time. For the record, I'm playing it at the bench. Is that satisfactory, sir? <laughs> yeah, it's already going. How are you? Who are you? Uh, who are you is the question, sir. Do you have your identification yourself. with you? Huh? Do you have your identification with you? Am I being detained? Yes, you are being detained. What's 56, your PC? 56.27 is San Diego Municipal Code. Break out your ID for me. I don't have it on me. Okay, well, we're going to go a different route. What's your name? What's your PC? I already explained it to you. I'm not going to play games with you. You're not going to sit there and curse at the police, oh. sit out here and film us and talk on your radios until us I know who you are. I can talk it's on my radio all I want. It's for you to sit there and curse and act out like you are. What law is that you can't cuss out a cop? What law is it? 56.27, San Diego Municipal Code. You Coast. can't threaten a cop, but you can cuss out a cop. Okay, if that's what you believe, do you have your name? First, you got to give me a right probable cause I and your did. sergeant. I already did. Sergeant. Okay, we're going to go one of two ways. I will handcuff you and detain you until I find out who you are. Do you understand what I I'm saying I want to talk to your sergeant. That's fine. Uh, I'll get a sergeant here. You're not going to sit there and curse at me and be rude out here in public when small children are going by. And you know what you said. There were no kids going by. And, and you know what you said, right? In reality, I looked over. You were staring me down. So I, I said, what the fuck do you want? Well. And there's no law that says I can't say what the fuck okay. do you want. Well, actually, there is. So, are you going to give me your name? Yeah, once you get a sergeant. 
That's not how the thing works out here. I'll call a sergeant, and that's what we're going to do. Are you live? Yeah. Oh, good. We're all filming. I'm filming, too. This is good. Yeah. He says it's against the law to cuss at a cop. It's within his First Amendment right. Learn your First <laughs> Amendment. No, 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 no. Don't start being no, aggressive no, 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 towards no, no. me, I'm not or I'm going to handcuff you. Oh, go That's ahead. Try to handcuff me. I'm talking to him. I'm not talking For to what? you. For what? I'm his wife. So what? That's good. Look, can you look at the sergeant make it out to the west side of the station? Why you got to be a fucking bully? Okay, why are you cussing at me? I don't because know you. Walk away from me pig. or I'm going to handcuff you. Oh. No. Walk away from me or you're getting handcuffed. I'm the same hey, Brian, take her away from me or she's getting handcuffed. Oh, what? You're going to come and lay hands on me too? I'm That's talking to you. He's fine. No, no, don't uh, fucking don't walk away no, from us. He got pissed off because I told, I told him what the fuck does he want. You're not going to sit here and film our station and curse at police. I wasn't filming your station. You station. fucking dumbass. I walk away. Hey, I just backed up. How was I filming your station? Will you shut the fuck up when you finish talking? How was I filming your station? Relax. Here. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Was that all the video portion that you wanted played, sir? Yeah. All right. I'll return the cell phone to you at this time. I've uh, reviewed Exhibit A and I've accepted it into evidence, sir. And that, for the record, was a video of your interaction with the officer on the day that you got this citation, at least a portion of that interaction. Is that correct? Yeah, the rest was right. just the film of the police, the top of a police car. Understood. Do you have anything else you want to present? I have is my, uh, the penal codes and the case laws. I'll take a look at that. No, sure. All right. For the record, it's a few pages um, of portions of uh, text with case citation after portions of it. So just a moment. I'm writing down the case citations. All right, so a lot of times I'll get pretrial motions and it's fine that it's been submitted here, but I'm just explaining for the record uh, what the court's doing. I'm reviewing the extensive authority that you have here. <coughs> It's summarized authority, I should note for the record. Um, it starts off with four specific cases being cited, but just portions of text have been um, cut and pasted from somewhere. And then a number of penal code sections with summaries next to them. And also the US code. I'm reviewing all of it as presented in the format to the court. All right, for the record, uh, these documents consisted of six pages. And I'm gonna go ahead and return those to the defendant. I've reviewed them. I've taken extensive notes as well in reviewing those. So we'll move on now to any other evidence you wish to present at this time. That's all the evidence I have, Your Honor. And keep in mind when I talked about evidence being brought, it could include a testimony, a statement from a witness. You had a witness oh, yeah. sworn in, your wife. Did you want her to testify? Yeah, I'll have her. All right. Then what I'd ask you to do, since we don't have tables set up in here, we've been told that's impossible. Um, so I always appreciate everybody standing at the podium. I know it's not the most comfortable. But please have a seat on the bench, sir, where you're right nearby. And I'll have your wife come up to the microphone at the podium. Does that work? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Please have a seat, sir. And we'll have your witness come up. Have, Hi, Your Honor. Hello, good afternoon. My name's Michaela Glover, and as you said, I'm his wife. And I'm Let's stop real quick. We'll just okay. take it one step at a time. Okay. And don't worry, you're going to get a chance to present um, your testimony. 
I just need your spelling on your first name and then your last name. Michaela, that's Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, with an A at the end. Thank you. And then the last name is Glover. Can you spell the last name? G-L-O-V-E-R. All right, thank you. And your relationship to Mr. Edward Foreman? His wife. His spouse, understood. Yeah. I understand that you were present on the day of the citation. Yes, Is that Your correct? Honor. Yes. Please go ahead. So before um, they made contact with each other, we cop watch. What we do is we film the police, we film interactions with police. Um, earlier in the day, there had been a call to an apartment complex across the street from the police station. So my husband went to go film that interaction, document you know police activity in our neighborhood. He said, babe, these people are drunk. The officers have not arrived. Um, I'm going to wait across the street at a safe distance. Unfortunately, that ended up being in front of the police station. Um, he said, if the officers don't show up within 15 minutes, I'm just going to go home because it's, you know, a, a constant call to this location. Within five minutes, he says, babe, an officer is making contact with me. Can you please come out here? He, yes, we were using walkie-talkies. There's nothing that says that we're not allowed to use walkie-talkies to communicate with each other. Um, when I arrived, the officer to my right was um, telling him that he was not allowed to cuss, that he was not allowed to film police, but we use our rights as American citizens to film, to express how we feel. Um, at the moment, he was no longer cussing. All he said was, what the fuck do you, are you looking at or what the fuck do you want? Nothing wrong with that. You know, everyone, once in a blue moon, you know, we cuss. It's within our language. Um, the officer continued, you know, obviously cited him. Um, I was cussing as well. And I, at no point was I ever cited, was I ever detained for citing which, you know, if you look at it, it kind of looks wrong that one person is cited for cussing, the other person has not been. Um, he states that he was filming the station. I did not know that you could film a police station with a lens cap on a camera. He states that he was, you know, aggressive. All he calmly asked was for a sergeant. You know, um, that was, you know, my point of view. That's what, you know, all we were out there to do like I stated, it was film, police interactions, document police activity within our community. Anything else? No, Your Honor. All right, please have a seat on the bench again. And Mr. Foreman, please come forward. All right, again, sir, as the defendant, it's your case, and yeah. at this point in time, if you have anything else you wish to present, this would be the time to do it. Remember, the officer gets the last word if he wants it in evidentiary rebuttal. Do you have anything else? I'll just give my statement. Yeah, Please. I, I heard, uh, I was listening to the police scanner, I heard that there was a, a call, a, a call, a public disturbance at 3786 43rd Street and uh, apartment five so i got on my i walked over there with my camera i had the lens cap on i was standing up against a tree across the street because the police had never arrived and i don't want i didn't want to be pointed out that i was part of the problem that i was one of the suspects so i stood across the street at, by a tree playing on my phone and that's when i looked up and then and then i noticed that the, uh, the officer next to me was just staring me down and that's when i asked him what the fuck are you looking at and after that, he said that if you don't stop cussing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out there and arrest you and take you to jail. And so I told him I can call you all the bitches I want. It's within the First Amendment right. And then that's when it took him about 15 minutes to drive out of the yard and go just to the back. So I stood there and waited for him to arrive. And that's when I actually started filming, as you saw in the video, was around that time when he made the point of contact. My camera was never on because I never I wasn't trying to film the police station or anything. I was waiting for cops to arrive to do that, to film the police inter interac interactivity was going on across the street at the scene. And that's when everything went down with the rest is in the bit was in the video. Do you have anything else, sir? No, Your Honor. All right. 
Officer gets the last word. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Officer, any rebuttal? I'm just impressed Mr. Foreman could stand here and lie and make up comments about me saying I was going to arrest him. Never said I was going to arrest him. I said I'd come out there and explain the law to him. It took me probably less than five minutes to get in my patrol car and drive around. As far as Mrs. Miss Glover, I didn't write her a ticket due to the fact that their aggressive nature. She's yelling at a radio for more people to come to scene. I didn't see the point of escalating the situation is why she was not issued the same citation as him on that day. Your Honor. All the stuff he brings up has nothing to do with him. Violation of 56.27 of the San Diego Municipal Code. Anything else? No, sir. All right. All right. Both sides have presented their cases. The court will be taking this matter under submission and issuing a decision at a later time that will be uh, mailed to you. Sir, when you check out, they'll make sure that they have your current address. Is that is the bill office? Okay. Well, I was thinking about releasing. Nothing's outstanding. All right, I'll ask you to step into the bail officer. It is not very busy in there right now, so they can check you out. And again, I'll mail a copy of my decision um, when the court's made one. Okay? Right. Do you have anything else? No, Any other Your questions? Honor. Can we just forget one thing? He stated that there was children walking, there was no children, there was no. And remember, no. It, it is his case, so I have to hear from him, but also the officer does get the last word. And in a bunch of caution, I want to make my decision on all the facts that are relevant and admissible. Did you have anything else, sir? Do you have anything else? No, Your Honor. All right. I know there's a disagreement on different areas about what happened. I took extensive notes, including the comments about um, minors or children being in the area and in the vicinity. So I know that was what was just raised um, by your spouse who was a witness. Anything else, Mr. Foreman? No, Your Honor. Anything else, officer? No, sir. All right. Thank you to both parties. That concludes this matter for now. The matter's been taken under submission and we'll call the next matter for trial. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cop watch trying to just trying to film police officers.